Hey, what's up, everybody? Mr. On Demand, man with the master plan. We got some information about some ad blocking, and we want to talk about what's going on. Uh, Mozilla has renewed its promise to continue supporting manifest version 2 extensions. What does that mean, manifest version 2? Oh, you guys are, oh, you're speaking in a different language. We don't understand you, Mr. On Demand. Um, it's just the uh, kind of the programming language that is used for the web browsers. Um, Google, Chrome, and Chromium-based browsers like uh, a, almost all the other browsers out there pretty much um, has moved toward this new manifest version 3. What that is doing is it's basically uh, causing ad blockers to not work. Uh, there's a lot of ad blocking issues out there uh, that are going on or will happen soon if it hasn't happened to you already. One of the ways around that is you can run Mozilla Firefox along with those other web browsers because multiple web browsers have different um, different strengths like uh, Microsoft's uh, browser. You can run that with the Bing search and the AI uh, chat GPT functionality I think is a little better uh, with it. Then the Google search has its own strengths. If you're looking to purchase something, uh, it's really good. You can then use Firefox and you can put something like DuckDuckGo in there, which is a more non-biased search tool uh, to give you a more basic search without a lot of AI capabilities uh, on the internet. So I use all three. I don't, but I, I don't like you know, strap myself down to just one option. I make sure I use all the tools available out there that I know of in order to make sure that I get the best, uh, you know, uh, the best experience possible from the internet uh, using these different browsers. But specifically what's happened is Manifest Version 3 uh, is a Google developed browser extension spe specification aimed at making add-on functionality in web, in web browsers safer by restricting overly permissive network requests and remote content loading. Despite the intentions, Manifest version 3 places restrictions on certain types of add-ons like ad blockers that can render them, them less effective. Manifest version 3 uh, is... Enforcement is rolling out. Extensions not capable uh, with it are being disabled from people's browsers, depriving users of the choice of functionality over risk. One notable case of a deactivation confirmed by bleeping computers late last week is for the uBlock Origin ad blocker, which has over 38 million downloads on Chrome Web Store. I can tell you uh, uBlock Origin Lite, if you, if you install Lite, I think that's still working uh, for me. Um, so uh, for you all out there, you might want to use that one. But I can tell you that this is not the first time this has happened. Google has been fighting ad blocking forever because Google's all about ads. Their search engine is full of ads selling you things. That's why their search engine is better if you're trying to buy something. Than, a, than other search engines are because they're just full of nothing but a bunch of crappy ads, to be honest with you. Um, I think an ad blocker is very important. Personally, uh, I'm gonna tell you right now, it is your first line of defense, people, to protect you from malicious and bad actors out there on the internet. Even though google is trying to do this in respect to oh we're trying to make people safer they're not they got ads that take you to sites that give you viruses right on their search they don't stop these advertisers from putting virus infected ads in your search when you're doing google search and that is the real real problem if they actually cared they would make sure their search doesn't have any malicious anything in it instead they all they care about is making money from the people paying for the ads that's it so at the end of the day, we got to understand these companies are out to make money. They're not out for you. So you got to be out for yourself. You got to protect yourself. And that's why I'm telling you what I'm telling you about trying to use, uh, you know, you block origin light if it still works for Chrome. 
and also using something like Firefox instead where you can actually get yourself protected from the ads out there. Although many ad blockers have migrated to manifest version 3 versions, these are generally less capable of detecting and blocking promoted targeted content. So even if you get an ad blocker, and we're going to talk about like uh, Adblock Plus and some other ad blockers out there, companies are paying these ad blockers to allow ads through. So they're not really being an ad blocker. If they're taking money from a company who's putting ads out that might put a malicious ad, then you're not actually protected. Uh, that's something to be very, very aware of. So again, these companies don't care about you. You have to care about you. You need to protect yourself. I'm here trying to give you my expert advice on this to help protect you against ads uh, coming through on these web browsers. Microsoft Edge, Mozilla Firefox, and Apple Safari have all adopted MV3. They have done so with their own implementation and modifications, allowing users greater freedom while still benefiting from the security enhancements. Still, support for MV2 is the only way to go for older add-ons, and Firefox reiterated via an announcement that it will continue to support it in the foreseeable future. While some browsers are phasing out Manifest version 2 entirely, Firefox is keeping it alongside Manifest version 3, said Mozilla. Specifically, the internet company said it would continue to support both blocking web requests and declare net request APIs corresponding to MV3 and MV2. That's were big words used to describe what goes into the coding when they actually write the code to block the ads okay so just so you guys know that you know if you don't understand what that is it's okay you don't have to understand it um and firefox has not not stated how long this support will continue but as long as there are powerful add-ons enhancing user privacy and security mozilla should continue to have strong reasons to extend support for manifest version 2. ultimately mozilla stated that this is a matter of adherence to principle 5 of its own manifesto which states individuals must have the ability to shape the internet and their own experiences on it So what do you guys think about this whole um, ad blocking issue? Uh, you know, give me your comments down below. Uh, is Google a crummy company? Is Mozilla doing the right thing? Uh, is Google doing the right thing by trying to move forward with the more up-to-date uh, coding? Uh, what, what's, what is your opinion on it? And uh, what do you think about it? Personally, I'm going to use all the web browsers. I use Firefox, I use Chrome, I use, and I use, uh, I use internet, uh, I use the uh, Microsoft uh, Edge browser. Um, so I use all three browsers and I have to say um, that uh, you can see uh, right here where We got uBlock there, and if we go to Google Chrome extensions, uBlock Origin is running here, and Microsoft Edge browser. I have all three browsers, and I use all three of them for different purposes on my own machines. And I think everybody should uh, try to to do that. Uh, if you close yourself down to only using one tool, uh, if that tool continues to not work, you don't have another tool to do the job. So make sure you have multiple tools in your arsenal to do your jobs and always have the right tool for the job. And you'll be working much, much better in the future. Hope you all have a great day and uh, hit up like and subscribe uh, if you want more content, want more information like this. I'll be happy to continue to put it out and uh, see you in the next video. Catch you later.